You are now entering the Divine Headquarters. Tough fam, it's your big bro Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. I want to thank you guys for joining me again for another reading. Welcome back to the channel, my OGs. Thank you all for your continued love and support. And welcome back to the channel, any new viewers, or welcome to the channel, any new viewers. If you're liking how we're vibing over here and want to be a part of the fam, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you be a part of the fam as well. You already know the vibes. Um, where we at? Before we get started, let's go ahead and clear the energy out. I should have had this drum ready. All right, I usher in love, light, peace, and prosperity. Okay, for the collective. Let's go. This message here, I already had a, a um, got to start it off with a message here. We have, there's somebody or somebody in your life right now who's feeling sorry for what they did to you, uh, wanting to give you some sort of an apology, wanting to come in and, and, and talk to you or uh, to clear up the situation. But before we jump into that message, let's get you guys an intro message here. What do we have here? It says, moments of learning are all around you. Attune your senses to recognize what you need to know and welcome in the experience your soul desires. The lessons you chose to embark on are the tools for refinement that your soul longs for. This life is one small part of a much bigger journey. Flourish while you explore, never being weighed down by time. OK, it's all about the lessons that you're learning in life. And, and what I'm hearing also, too, is like. What is it? What is it that you're gaining from these uh, these experiences that you're going through? Are you learning? Are you learning uh, more about yourself? Are you learning what not to do? Are you learning what to do? Spirit wants you also based off of I've been picking. I picked up this energy uh, last what yesterday also as well. Is that we need to also keep in mind is that we need not to let other people uh, base off of the situations that we go through with people. We need not to allow them to stop us from experiencing like uh, don't allow a negative experience to, to, to stop you from loving people, excuse me, from loving people, from getting out there, living your life, from having fun, from meeting new people, from uh creating new friendships from creating new uh, love connections and whatnot. Never let your past stop you from living. That's a strong lesson right now for somebody in the collective. Don't let your past stop you from living. I don't know who needs to hear that. A lot of times when we go through stuff with people, a lot of times these people have been moved on. They're, they're moved on. They're living... Uh, living their best life, they they carried on to to gain new friendships, to gain new uh, lovers and stuff like that, and they're just living their life like nothing ever happened. They're putting behind them and they're moving forward, right? Why shouldn't you be able to do the same thing? To put whatever happened behind you to uh, and and hopeful to hopefully heal from it and forgive the situation and move forward, right? So that you could uh, enjoy the time that you have on this earth right and you're not wasting your time you're not wasting your days uh trapped in a time period that is no longer here in the present a lot of times when we can when we when we have things happen to us we get stuck in that time frame and we we don't move move forward from it but spirit is wanting you to now to take into accountability that uh these are just lessons they don't define who you are they mean shape you a little better when i say shape you a little better that they mean show you what you like show you what you dislike right show you what you want to experience and show you what you don't want to experience no more so we, we should be allowing ourselves to learn from what we've been through and not let it hinder you 
take something pro positive from the situation to what you've been through in the past and allow it to make you stronger, right? Because you're no longer that person who you were before you experienced whatever you experienced, right? Whether it was good or bad, you're a different person now. So take those lessons with you and move forward, but continue to live your life, continue to set goals, continue to embark on a new adventures and and free yourself from this situation. Because I'm saying number five, which talks about adventure, freedom, uh, sensuality. Yeah, allow yourself to still feel sensuality, right? If that is what you want to experience with another person. Five also stands for risk too. That's you taking a risk on yourself. Take, you know, gambling on yourself. I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not talking about gambling in, in, in a negative way to where you are purposely putting yourself in situations to where you know damn well, you know, that that person is not a good for you or you know that situation is not good for you. No, this is saying take a risk to to live a good life, to to love again, to smile again, to be happy again, to trust again, right? To have faith again, to experience again, all over again. I'm getting that you guys are being po poised, okay, poised for a brand new uh, adventure to come into your life. But it's like, if you're going, if you're going to hold yourself back because of something that this person did to you in the past, then you selling yourself short, right? You're doing yourself a disservice. Cause like I told you, most of the time, these people we go through breakups with that we are, we, we, uh, end our friendship with them or whatever happened, go through some sort of argument, whatever. Those people be done, moved on, and they out there living their best life. They ain't checking for you. They ain't worried about you like that to the point where they're just like, oh, my God, I can't sleep. Oh, my God, da-da-da. Uh, most of the time, and especially when it comes to people who, um, not trying to point the finger to people, but when you know somebody's not on the up and up, them people just, they move on to the next, quote, unquote, person that they could use. And abuse, and I'm just—I hate to say it that way, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know. So we should be looking at, yo, how can we uh, heal ourselves? How can we get back out there and live our best life, right? How can we return to a place or a similar place to where we were before we were hurt by this person, before we went through whatever experience that caused us to shy away from getting to know new people? from uh and that made us turn away from wanting to have a healthy connection with another person or to be a friend friend with with another person or to be in a love connection with somebody it's like we need to not punish ourselves you know based off of some some, some somebody else did right because when you do that it's like you, you you letting them have control over your life you're letting them dictate the flow of your life some of us are needing to forgive people and then forget them. You know what I'm saying? And when I say forgive and forget, it's like forgive uh, the person, forgive yourself, forgive the offense, whatever it was so that you can move on. Right. I know a lot of people have. And I think I put a trigger warning on this video, too. As, no, they're not. Yeah. On this video as well, because I know a lot of people got problems with forgiving people. They don't want to forgive people. They want to hold that grudge. They want to keep that pain, that hurt. They want to keep themselves trapped in that moment with that individual for the rest of their life, not knowing that is doing them damage, right? You ain't damaging the other person. You damn the person who's getting damaged the most is you by holding on to that frustration, by holding on to that pain, by holding on to that resentment, by holding on to the to the grudge, you know, that holding on to that negative energy. Is doing yourself a disservice because you're not allowing yourself to fully be free from the situation. And a part of you being free from the situation is learning the art of forgiveness. And people be hell bent on thinking, oh my God, if I forgive that person, that means I got to go and talk to them and go sit in Starbucks and we got to order uh, chai lattes and, and, and um, banana bread and sit down and have a conversation no you don't got to do all that you don't even you never have to talk to that person again the uh um by you forgiving the person in this situation you can do that could be between you and spirit you and god you feel me whatever you believe in that's it that's it it don't take you to go call that person and be like hey i want you back in my life no 
it's for you. And the sooner you realize that it's for you, the sooner you could work towards moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Be beyond the pain, beyond whatever. I don't know why I got into that, got into that whole um, uh, spiel. <laughs> but I got somebody saying that they sorry. Somebody saying that they sorry and they bring in love your way. I got this. This is something you're not expecting from this individual. They want your forgiveness. They want you to let and some of these people is wanting you to let go of the hurt that they caused you and start over. Now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got to operate off of your own free will. You got to make your own decisions, right? I think it's kind of it's kind of tough sometimes when you got people who are wanting to come back into your life and they're not really taking uh, full accountability and they're wanting you to just sweep everything under the rug just like that and not really work things out and not knowing that yeah because th this happened to me it's going to take me a while to work through this you can't just snap those feelings off you know what i'm saying but spirit said it's your choice right that they can't do something to you and then tell you how to react to it because sometimes it takes it takes some of us a while to get over you know what somebody might have done to you Let's get, uh, let me get an emotion for you guys. What's the emotion for the collective? What's the emotion? We got trust, reliant, inter, um, interdependent, and certainty. I think you guys are, you guys are actually moving more so into that trust, learning how to be, learning how to trust again and learning how to, uh, getting your creative uh, mode, learning how to, see yourself in a different position and i feel like a lot of us in the collective are forgiving these people but so that we can move on we are healing from uh whatever may have taken place that may have caused us trauma heartache or pain you know we are doing what we got to do to move forward now hats off to you guys kudos kudos to everybody out there who's taking the time to work on themselves comment down below if y'all ready to go baby And a lot of us out here feeling grateful, you know, thankful and appreciative and feeling blessed, like for all the life lessons that we get. And if, for the fact that we are learning and growing and evolving, right, as individuals and evolving as a collective. You guys are also learning to trust uh, that just because. You had a negative experience with uh, somebody who may have been a karmic, a karmic soulmate or whatever, or even a soulmate, you know, uh, just because you went through a negative situation with somebody like that doesn't mean that that's you're going to have that same thing repeat over and over and over for you, for you again. No, you're understanding that, hey, just like the seasons change, people change. Right. And we can't control people. Right. The only person that you can control and change is yourself. I feel like a lot of us are communicating, are getting back uh, uh, and strengthening our spiritual connections also, too, so that we're able to heal quickly and more efficiently so that we can move forward. Right. A lot of you guys are seeing yourself in better positions. I feel like a lot of y'all, because you're changing your energy and because you are uh, healing and evolving. There's a lot of new people that wants to come into your life. There's a lot of people that want to be around you, right? There's a lot of people who look up to you. They, they look at you as somebody who's strong, who's resilient, who's persistent, you know, that you don't give up on yourself. We got this person here. We got this individual who knows that they messed up. Okay. I said, they know they messed up. You feel me? But at the same time, because a person says they're sorry, we still got the message here. Everybody doesn't want to see you win and that's okay. Some people, we're dealing with some individuals who may have sabotaged you or, or may have took your kindness for weakness or may have purposely hurt you in some sort of way. May have purposely hurt you in some sort of way. Uh, since I got this book right here, let me pull something. 
It says, uh, what's in your soul has a right to shine through. Yeah, spirit is wanting you to to know that just because somebody did X, Y, Z down, don't mean you can't bounce back and you can't continue being yourself, right? If you want uh, new soulmates to come in, that's what you're going to manifest, right? Because you were in your creative ability. You were tapped and tuning in with your imagination and you're very, very inventive and expressive, right? And you're sending out the right vibrations to the universe, right? And I feel like that's why somebody trying to come back because they know that you're moving forward. They know that you are doing that work, all right? I'm talking to somebody who's been doing that work. I'm hearing y'all been in beast mode. Y'all been in beast mode doing that work and changing for the better. And sending... Sending those uh, 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 those vibrations to the universe that, yes, I've healed from this. Yes, I know my worth. Yes, I know what I deserve. And yes, I'm ready to move forward. And there's people who are not. I'm getting somebody may not be feeling your, your energy no more like how they used to because you're not checking for them no more. You've finally gotten over a karmic connection. Whether it was platonic or romantic. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? You finally gotten over Six of Swords. You see what I'm talking about? You finally gotten over a connection with another person. And you're like, you're like, yo, I'm getting away from the drama. I'm getting away from the chaos. And I'm getting, getting away from the confusion. I don't need this in my life. I don't have to deal with this. And it's so funny that... When you're broken, when you're when you're broke, when you're broken down and you're not in your strength, these people really don't. It's like energetically, they think like energetic, energetically, they may be able to feel like, yo, this person is down. I got them where I want them, da, 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 whatever, whatever. But when you build yourself back up, they feel that energy rising. They feel it. You know what I'm saying? They feel you moving forward. They feel you getting strong. They feel you standing up for yourself. Nine of wands. They feel your resilience. And then they want to come back. Some of these people is coming back because they, they some of these people did you like that. Played you dirty or I'm getting mishandled, mistreated because they thought that you didn't have a backbone because they felt that you didn't really respect yourself. And hear me out. The reason why somebody felt like you didn't respect yourself is because you never stood up to them. You never you never put your foot down. them. You let them do what they wanted to do. You gave them too many chances. Sometimes when we give people too many chances, it can send out the wrong message. It can send out the message that you're soft, that you are a pushover. When you, Even when you're not a pushover. Even when you're just like, you know, I, I don't want to be mean to this person. I don't want to da-da-da, whatever. Certain people, especially manipulative people, can see you in that kind of way. And look at here, y'all. You are headed for a victory in your life. You're headed for good news. People are contacting you for somebody, yo. I, hey, this person is going to try to contact you with this message. This person is going to contact you. And you're going to have other people, places, and things contact you. What I mean by that is you're going to have other people trying to, trying to get at you. Other people trying to be your friend. Other people trying to uh, be a lover, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, you are going to have other opportunities coming that actually make sense, right? I'm getting spirit is saying that it makes it, it's happening now because you're ready now. It's like certain things were put on hold until you were ready, right? Even though in the back of your mind, you was like, yo, I'm ready right now, da, da, da. but you had at that point, I'm hearing that you hadn't worked out what you needed to work out. You didn't heal what you needed to heal. And that's why you weren't ready at that time. And that's why things didn't happen how you wanted them to happen when you wanted them to happen. But the thing about it now is that you're ready now. You're moving into that energy to where you're ready now, right? But depending on where you are on the timeline. Some of y'all are just beginning the journey. And some of y'all have already healed and already moving forward. But you are moving forward and moving on from the drama. You chose to make the decision and say, you know what? I don't deserve this. I need peace and serenity in my life. I need peace in my life. I need to go off on this new beginning by myself. I don't need. Okay, cool. You don't respect me. That's cool. You feel me? 
You don't see my worth. That is cool. But there's going to be somebody else out there who is going to see my worth. That is, there's going to be somebody out there who is going to respect me. You feel me? I feel like a lot of y'all, when y'all realize that, it was a game changer. Now, a couple of messages from this person. Okay. We got, I've never received love as a child, so I don't really know how to show it. I keep stopping myself from reaching out to you. I still see you in my dreams. It's like we're still together. And you are the one that got away. You see what I'm talking about? It's be, I, I'm getting this person didn't think you was going to do what you did. You you threw this person a curveball. And what, I'm, what I mean by you sending you threw them a curveball is that they thought you were going to be down and out. They thought that this is this is that kind of person that 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 feels that, oh, you can't make it without me. You will never be nothing without me. But you showed this person. You showed them exactly who you were. Right. You knew, hey, well, me being nice, extra nice to this person ain't going to cut it. It's not going to work because. It's, it's, it's sending this person the wrong message, right? And I can't be sending out the wrong message, especially when it's when it's working against me. And now you got somebody who's like, dang, I shouldn't have let I shouldn't have let them go. Five of cups. I shouldn't have did them like that. I should have I should have treated them differently. But, yo, it's kind of too late, right? You're no longer investing in this situation with this person. And they, and they feel that energetically. A lot of times when we break up with people or we stop talking to people, or whatever, or we move away from people, sometimes that energy is still there because there, there's that, that, that's that, um, that pain, that resentment, that grudge, that there, that energy is still there. And it gives that person a connection to you and you a connection to that person. But once you heal and you be like, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm not going to waste my energy on you. I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time uh, having love for you in a way that I'm like, yo, this person is going to change. Let me hold off. I'm not going to do none of that. I'm going to move so into, into, into a, a space of uh, a neutral space to where I'm getting my emotions in check. And that's what y'all did. Y'all took y'all emotions out of the situation and this person felt it. You took your emotions out of the situation and you chose to set a new beginning for yourself. And this person, okay, see what I'm talking about? You chose a new a new beginning for yourself and you chose to get past this betrayal to whatever they did to you. This is somebody who didn't appreciate your friendship. They didn't appreciate your uh, love while they had it. This is somebody who was at opposition with you. You were trying to be that friend. You were trying to be that lover with this person. But this person fought you uh, tooth and nail. Every inch of the way, they fought you. Right? And you know you could do better than this. Right? You know that. You're seeing the truth right now that with the two of wands, that you could do better than this person. And you don't need them in your life. And it, don't y'all know... I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you guys been through this before to where as soon as you stop caring, that's when they show up. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, it's one of them vibes, one of them uh, scenarios that I'm picking up. As soon as you stop caring, that's when they show up talking about I'm sorry, talking about let's try again, talking about I shouldn't have treated you that way. I shouldn't have done that, whatever. It's like, bro, sis, like. Save the drama for your mama, like for real. I'm getting that you guys are moving forward and moving on, and that person knows this, and now they want to get you back. Now they're the ones that are learning a lesson right now. You feel me? They learning a tough lesson. They learning a tough lesson that this narcissism ain't going to cut it. The way that they treated you is just trying to make your life. They try to make your life a living hell, and you got the hell on. You got the hell out. You got out of, out of dodge. And now they, 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 uh, um, hearing through the grapevine or they're just picking up this energetically that your name rings bells. Now you're no longer that same person. You're not cutting people no slack now. You're not cutting them no slack now, right? You're not being nice. I see some of y'all, this person contacting y'all. Y'all just not even responding to this person. 
Yeah. And you got a brand new person coming in. You see what I'm saying? It's a brand new that. Let me tell y'all something. It'd be like clockwork. When you at odds with a person and it's over with done, they think you ain't doing nothing. They think you're still sulking. You're still sad. You're still depressed. You're still holding on to hope that whatever you're still holding on, whatever. They're not going to do nothing. But as soon as they energetic, energetically feel that you moved on, that you no longer care, you withdrew your energy, your feelings. You're no longer like it's like you've lost all hope. And you're done and you you buried it, you've buried it and you're moving on. And that new person starts creeping in, that's when they start, that's when they the the the, the bells be ringing on the, on these people. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below if y'all ready to go, babe. Look what we got right here. Hold up, y'all. Let me show y'all this. As soon as I put the deck down now, then now they want to be uh having nostalgic moments, thinking about the past, th having memories about you, about the quote unquote good times. And all you were left with is 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 uh, thinking about all the bad times because that's what you were left with. I'm hearing a lot of y'all was left to process this on your own. This person didn't even give you closure. You had to find your own closure. This person may have got you caught up in a third party uh, situation or may have chosen somebody over you. Throw you to throw you to the wayside. You feel me? But now you leveling up. Now they're not on your level. See, at one point. They was acting like you were not on their level, but now, since you took your power back, they're not on your level. And they know that. And they know that. And now they running out here super anxious and, and, and feeling some type of way like, yo, I just let this person slip out of my hand. How can I get them back? They're going to be gone forever. Like they got a choice. Like you got a choice. You guys are vibrating towards... So, Look at this, y'all. Look at it. You see, you saw that card jumped out. What does this card say, y'all? Look at this. <laughs> Look at this, yo. Old person, the past, reconciliation. This person wants to reconcile with you now because it's a new per. because you, you leveled up. You leveled up. You boss up. You're no longer that same person. I'm hearing, I'm just hearing you ain't taking no shit from nobody now. You're not the same person. This person might get their feelings hurt. You know what I'm saying? You, you're not in that energy to where you're, you're, you're sparing somebody's feelings, especially when they're doing you wrong. You're no longer sparing people's feelings. This person might even get their feelings hurt. I'm hearing for somebody like you, you, you better like if you know what's best for you. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit is like, if you know what's best for you, you will stay away. You will leave them alone. And now this person trying to search for your loca location. They want to know where you at. They want to know where you work, where you live, who you're dating. What's your marital status? What's your financial status? What do you do for work? <sighs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous, y'all. Oh, now this person wants to pay you attention before I'm hearing some of y'all may not even this person may may you it may took uh, 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 um, an act of God for this person to respond to your text message to call you back to set some time out for you to 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 show you some attention. Now they want to be all in your business, want to know what's going on, right? Because you you got they didn't think see this is somebody like this person was real real trifling i'm picking up somebody real trifling that thought you ain't got you didn't have no support around you so if you don't got no support then yeah you'll be waiting for them right but you got support around you whether this is support in the spiritual realms or whether they support in the in the physical you got support around you you feel me and and they were banking on you not having that support and now they want to be all in, all in your business because you out here doing your thing right or you're about to be out here doing your thing right at first, they was looking down on you, right? Not showing you how they truly felt or making you feel less than like there was something wrong with you or that you were not good enough for them. And now they want to surrender to their true feelings. I'm, 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 I'm just getting like it's a little too late. And now they're looking at you like you're a long term. Uh, 
like, yeah, now I can have that. This person is this. This is somebody that I want to settle down with. Like, what? What were you doing? What were you saying when you had the chance? This is somebody who had the chance, but they fumbled the bag, right? And that's leaving. They were stuck in this indecisive energy when they was with you. They didn't know what they wanted to do. <clears throat> See, I'm getting some throat chakra stuff going on, and that mean that mean I'm I'm, I'm saying I'm telling the truth here. I'm, I'm speaking too much truth, speaking too much facts. Comment down below if y'all ready to go, baby. I'm speaking too much facts now. Now, now they want to, you know, the throat want to itch and stuff like that. Nah, this information is going to get out. Like how it, it was meant to get out. Now this person is, is, is sitting here trying to investigate you. They want to know what you're doing. Okay. But Spirit is saying that this person is hella destructive. They cause too much irreparable harm and damage. Right. But now they got a new confidence. Right. Ready to take on anything where they, they want to move them out and out of the way. Now they want to and now they want to have relations with you. You know what I'm saying? Whew. Whose story is this, yo? Whose story is this? Tell me about this person. Tell me about this person. Well, what do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this individual who has the audacity? I'm hearing they got the audacity. Keep that same energy is what I'm hearing. I just heard keep that same energy. You ain't cared before, so why do you care now? What's the what's the difference? Oh, that that uh, somebody else is gonna see your worth. That somebody else was going to give you what they couldn't give you. This person was playing chess with you. You feel me? I was playing games, using others as pawn to make their exes, exes or enemies, enemies jealous. So this person may have been using you to make, make this, make, they could have been playing with you. Wow. God. This person could have been playing with you, trying to make somebody else jealous. <clears throat> Or they could have been playing, uh, uh, playing with you by using their ex and make you jealous and make you feel bad, plotting on and sacrificing others for themselves. Can yeah, this person was for themselves? See, and backsliding and still being in love with their ex. This person was still in love with their ex or somebody that they messed with in the past. This person, I'm picking up strongly for somebody. This may not resonate for everybody. That your person might have been, uh, uh going, may have gotten back with or. May have still been dealing with somebody who they had a, a strong, intimate uh, connection with. Okay, on and off. It's giving me that on and off energy. But see, the, 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 the awesome thing about you is that you're moving forward, right? Zirconia. Actions and love being negatively compared to actions and others. Like this person did not. This person didn't see you as a diamond as you were. You feel me? So... I'm hearing like, what's what's even the use of, of of even entertaining something like this? Stuck, holding on to people until death do them part. You see what I'm talking about? This this is somebody who, if they break up with somebody, they still want to hold on to them, want to keep them like an elf on the shelf. They want to keep them in their back pocket just in case. I'm going to keep you there just in case. I might need to pull you out and, and, and play with you a little bit. You feel me? Nah. Nah. You know that you deserve better than that. You feel me? You're not accepting that. It says protection. Forcing others to get restraining orders on them to leave them alone. This person might be somebody. Y'all may need to. Wow. Hopefully you don't get to that point with this person. But this person, I'm getting this person is going to be very persistent. Or they very, when they got their mindset on something, they're very persistent about it. That's why I'm saying like, don't even engage in it. Or this could just be this person. Uh, you may need energetic protection. Some of y'all might literally need physical protection against this person. You feel me? A schemer trapping others into child support or other money making schemes. This could be somebody trying to trap you with a baby or uh, whether you're male or female. You feel me? Fem trying to get you pregnant or uh, the vice versa. You feel me? Trying to have you get them pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Something weird like that so that you'll be stuck with them.
I heard somebody, some of y'all might already have kids with this person, you know, and finding it hard to co-parent with this individual because this, this person is sick in the head and they're very, very selfish. And for some of y'all, y'all person is very, very violent. That's what I'm telling y'all. Oh, yo. Mm. They say aiming to put people in the hospital. Be very, very careful. There's a reason this came out. This is somebody who's toxic, so you can't really give them nothing to go off of, right? And when they said, hey, they, King of Wands, when they had a mindset on something, they're, they're not going to stop until they get it. I don't know who needs to hear that, right? Yeah, this is somebody trying to, like, stop you from getting your happily ever after with that new person. Because they know, they, know, they know somebody else is seeing your, um, ooh, old love interest. Some of y'all, this was an old love interest. Some of y'all, this was an old uh lover some of y'all this was an old crush even who's this mo this motherfucker sound crazy though. i'm sorry y'all this person they sound like they're not rap type this person sounds like they're not rap type somebody who this is let me tell y'all something somebody out there is thinking and it's not for everybody it may be for one or two people somebody out there is thinking yo since they played me i'm gonna say yes to them or I'm going to talk to them and I'm going to entertain them and I'm going to play them like they play me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. There's a reason why we got this for a reason. Don't do that. Your best bet is to just keep this person out your life. All right. Keep them out your life. I just giving the wrong type of energy. This person ain't got nothing to lose. No goals. Not want anything, anything out of life. They don't got nothing to lose. So. Don't gamble your life. Don't gamble uh, your sanity, your well-being away on somebody who does not. They don't they don't have nothing to lose in their life. You know what I'm saying? They have nothing to lose right now at this point. This is somebody who will turn their family and friends against you. This is not somebody that you, that you could trust. You could build anything with, right? Because they will spin the narrative and they'll have everybody hating you. And you and you weren't you weren't the one that did anything to them. They were the one that did everything. You know, you got to be very very careful here. A witch. This person has been doing spell work, yo, threatening people's lives. This is someone still sleeping with or hobnobbing with their exes. I told y'all, I told y'all. That's the what the second third time that message came off, off out of this message. That, yeah, this person still sleeps with their exes. They don't know how to move forward. They always like to keep somebody in their back pocket. So this person might got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exes in the back pocket that they just rotate, go through. And you want to do spell work on somebody? <laughs> oh God. This, for some of y'all, your person has been doing spell, trying to do spell work. Some of y'all has been having dreams. If you, if this person, let me tell you something, this is very specific for somebody specific. If you recently had a dream about this person, that's why you had a dream about this person. This person is doing spell work or energetic work on you. Okay. They're doing spell work, literal spell work, or they're doing manifestation work to bring you back into their life. You have to protect your energy. You have to protect your space from people like this. You got to protect your energy, protect your space. Yeah, because they don't want you to move forward. Eight of Swords. This person is doing spell work so that you feel like you can't get you. I can't. I, I'll never find another lover. I'll never find another friend. I'll never find another job. I'll never find another better place to live. I'll never find another. I'll never find another. They, 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 they're trying to get you trapped into that. I'll never find another type of phase and mentality. So that you will not move forward. All right. This is somebody that you need to avoid like the plague. I don't know who needs to hear this. You need to avoid this individual. This person is not. This person is is dangerous, though. This is giving me dangerous vibes right here, yo. Yeah, this is somebody. This person is not wrapped tight. Look at this nine of swords. This person uh, maybe going through anxiety, 
depression. They're not dealing with a, this person is mentally unstable. This is somebody who's mentally unstable right now because of something, because that this person has is, um, they have a need to control. And once, and I feel like this person, it was, it was how they were raised, right? And so once they find themselves losing control, like you're no longer responding to them, you're no longer da da da, or you're slipping out of their hand, or you, somebody out there might be posting stuff on your, oh God, I don't know who this is for. It's somebody out there that's playing with fire. And Spirit is telling you, don't play with fire. It's because I, I saw somebody, I see somebody. Uh, uh, knowing that this person follows you on Instagram or something, Instagram, TikTok, something. I, I, the first thing came to me was Instagram is that, you know, this person follows you, but you're posting things on there with other, other people, other dudes or females, like you're going on dates or you're in, making, uh, uh, you're sending subliminal shots. You, you're, uh, making it seem like something, you know what I'm saying? To get. A reaction out of this person don't do that that's a dangerous game to play i don't know who needs to hear that that's a dangerous game to be playing i'm here to mind your business mind your business and go about your way yeah spirit is telling you to see the light see i need you to look at this from a different perspective you feel me some somebody out there right now you got it in your mind that this is the way that I, that I, I this is the way that I'm going to get my power back by doing this person like this. And Spirit said, that's not the way. Revenge is not the way. That revenge is going to backfire on you. That revenge is going to get you caught up in a series of events that you're going to wish you, you, didn't, you, you, you didn't get yourself caught up in. Okay. This is a warning. This is a message for somebody. Don't be doing that tit for tat. Don't be doing that eye for eye stuff. Walk away and stay away. Walk away and stay away is what I'm getting. Find your balance because once you walk away, stay away. You're going to meet your true counterpart with the lover's energy here. Yeah. You already know that the new person is here, but we already we know that this old people is here too. But... You don't have to engage. You, yeah, see what I'm talking about? Ace of Ace of uh, Pentacles. Spirit telling you loud and clear. Look at this, y'all. Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. Spirit telling you loud and clear. Go with the new. Turn back. Don't look back. Keep moving forward. You feel me? Keep moving forward. Because this this past connection this past person whether it was somebody that you had a crush on whether it was a friend whether it was an actual lover whoever the hell this person was that situation is full of restriction for you okay full of pessimism full of uh, a false structure right i'm getting jail imprisonment i don't know for somebody i'm getting I'm, I'm seeing the jail somebody behind bars i don't know what they got to do with the situation but i'm seeing behind bars prison something like that you feel me but the reason why this is coming out right now is because this can be prevented. You know what I'm saying? This is something that you, you don't have to go through. Yeah, look at this. We got the compass right here. Spirit telling you to follow your true north. You got the ability to navigate yourself out of this situation and stay the hell away. Right? And we got the unicorn. Is it a unicorn? Yeah, we got the unicorn right here, yo. You got a lot of power. There's there's something that's unique about you and you can't be I'm hearing that you can't be hobnobbing or associating or giving yourself up to people who's not on that same level. You don't didn't I tell y'all before we got to call you to level up is it's, it's in this power somewhere. You leveled up. Here we go. You leveled up. You done transformed and leveled up now. You feel me? You got spiritual protection around you, too. We got this. I can't see this. It's too small. This is small as fuck. Huh? God damn. How am I supposed to read this? Y'all see how small this shit is right here? What the fuck? But yo, 
you got a lot of protection that's around you. When you you have a guide, you specifically have a guide that's a, that is around you right now to guide you away from this situation, guide you away from this person. But it's up to you whether or not you listen to it. People are seeing you for who you really are. People are seeing you for your work. They're seeing you for the diamond that you are. They're seeing you as not like the rest. They're seeing you how you wanted this past person to see you, but they never saw you in that light. They never saw you in that way. But new, there's, there's new people that's coming to your life that see you like that, that see your worth, right? Spirit said, don't let this confuse you. There's nothing really to be confused about in this situation. You know exactly what you got to do. Hmm. You know exactly what you got to do. Let me get ready to close this out, y'all. This was a, yo, this is, oof. I hope whoever needs to hear this, hears this message, bro. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Page of Swords, this person is spying on you right now and they're planning to move forward with some sort of contact or some sort of message. They want to come and see, okay, are you with somebody? Just like I said before, and we, we got that right here too, right? All in your business being nosy, investigating you. We have another one that was talking about them investigating you. Where that's at? Where's that one? It's under here somewhere. It's under here somewhere. Yeah, see, look. Searching for your location. How you trying to search for somebody's location? You don't even talk to that person no more. Like, that's weird, bro. That's weird. You trying to search for somebody's location to do what? A pop-up? They planning a pop-up in your house? Be careful, people. And this is not for me to sit here. And that's why I put that trigger one on it. Be careful. I had that I had that in my phone before I even did this reading because some told me that this reading needs a trigger warning. You feel me? That you need to be you need to be careful. You got somebody trying to they with this. Let me tell y'all something. With from this spell work to this trying to investigate you with the page of swords energy. It's around his page of swords was, was under here somewhere, but yeah, here you go. To the page of swords, to them being nosy spying on you all in your business to them investigating you somebody trying to find something out on you so they can come in you feel me spirit telling you to listen to your intuition listen to your intuition say let's see listen to your intuition some information you seek is trying to make its way to you that's this that's this warning baby you feel me you are being shown something that is being hidden you just have to listen and believe pay attention to the information that is intuitively coming to you your heart will guide you. Number 58. Changes. Not all changes are bad. Some changes come in to clear away what no longer serves your highest good. Welcome in changes and the life experiences that come with them, right? That's why I didn't talk about that before. Number five. We got number 50 here. Simplify it down to number five again. That says that we got our message here, right? And then we got rainy day. It says you will be making some extra money here soon. Remember when you're making the money, don't spend all the money at once. Save some for a rainy day. Preparation is a game changer and gives you an extra cushion. Some of y'all might need this to. Oh, I hate y'all. Come on now. Uh, yeah, I just heard somebody might need this to get away. You feel me? I don't know who that's for. Somebody might need that to get away, baby. What the, what God Nesha got to say before we close this out? If you guys like this reading, like the, the video, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and comment down below as well. Open yourself up to be intimate with someone. I'm going to add on there new, because we saw right here, everything is pointing to new, right? Friends will help you get through. This is this the second time it talks about friends. Rely on your friends, not the, not, not that one, not that one. You feel me? And I just saw trust your vibes in this situation. I had flipped another card over. It was under there, but trust your vibes in this situation. And this situation calls for time limits to be set. Like this could have been somebody who you gave a little bit too much time to. That time is up. Move on, right? 
trust the vibes over actions and words. I'll be telling people that all the time. It doesn't matter what a person says and what they do, because when we get this, that says that somebody who's a snake, somebody who's not good for you will come around and say and do everything you want them to say and do. But it's a lie. Open up and explore new connections. Bingo. What I tell y'all open up and explore new connections. OK, that's what I got for you guys. OK, if you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more. If this resonated, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you feel about it. Much love and light to everybody out there. Thank y'all for being here. Fa'afitaitelelava. Obrigado. Ciao.